there so today I'm going to show you how I bathe my hedgehogs and uh, I'm just doing it in my bathroom sink you can do it in your bathtub in a large Tupperware container you know the choices are endless so first thing you want to do obviously is get your water to a temperature that is suitable for your hedgehog so you want it warm but not too warm above I go above room temperature but not not hot so that's good you're gonna fill it up with water and then put your soap in just a little bit So that that kind of froths up, and you don't want to, you don't need a ton of soap or a ton of water. In fact, that's good right there. And then you're gonna put your hedgehog in. This is Blaze. You say hi. So he's gonna go. Oops. Straight in there, and I'm gonna let him acclimate a little before I go straight in. There he is. You can already see that the water's changing colors. He's very dirty. But mine definitely dunks his head under water. So let me show you the soap I'm using. It's a tear free soap. You can use baby shampoo and stuff like that. I tend to avoid shampoos because they, uh, Shampoos are made to strip the oils from things, from whatever you're washing, and therefore it can dry their skin out. So I use this right here. It has oatmeal in it, which helps moisturize, and it's washed, so it's not it's gonna clean him without stripping all the oils from his skin. This also means that I can bathe him more often but safely. I also have just an old clean toothbrush and that's what we're going to use to clean his actual quills in a minute. So after he's done kind of acclimating to the fact that he's in water, I pour some of that over him. You want to con continually check the water temperature just to make sure it doesn't get too warm, or too cold I mean. I add a little, a little warm water to it. And please note how he's kind of dunking his head. The reason I showed you this is because this is tear free. So it's not going to bother his eyes when he decides to freak out and dunk his head under. So I'm just going to wet the toothbrush. And I'm going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of soap in it. The littlest amount, like just a tiny little daub. And I'm going to rub it in first before I put it on him. And then you're just going to go through. And he hates baths, so he's going to freak out the whole time. You're just going to go through and brush the quills. You want a soft bristle brush so that you're not bothering them too much. He just got done quilling. So this patch of dark set of quills here, it's, um, it's painful for him when I touch it. So I'm going to do that very 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 quickly they're they're new quills so it it bothers him so there we go I'm gonna get under and brush his little belly but I do that mostly with my fingers and then I'll just shake the brush off now I'm gonna watch out please Watch out. I'm going to let this dirty water out. 
and all the suds obviously and I'm gonna put in some clean water that has no soap in it careful with the drain so this is full of the, the regular old water and I did fill it up just a little bit higher And he's going to swim while he's trying to get out. Now we're going to go ahead and pour the clean water over him. Oh, he got some up his nose. And there we go. And I'm just going to kind of rub around to make sure there's no, there's no more soap. I think we're all done. Okay, so now he's done. And it is, it's very important that they're completely dry before they go back in their cages. So what I recommend is use this opportunity for bonding time while they're drying and you want a towel that doesn't have the loops in it so that their nails don't get caught and I do a little bit of a hedgy burrito here so I just pop them on the towel and then wrap the towel around him so that he's in just a tiny little burrito and he hates this part because he's not a snuggler. So. <laughs> you say hi. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to give a hedgehog a foot bath. Now I've got just a little bit of warm water in here I don't know if you can see that. There's a very, very little bit in there. Just enough to cover his feet. And I'm going to put Draco in there. Now Draco's my more socialized hedgehog. <laughs> you see hi? You see his feet? They're filthy from running on his wheel. Now, he's my more socialized hedgehog because I've had him longer. Now all you want to do, and even he doesn't like baths, by the way. Um, all you want to do is make sure they're continually moving in the water. Um, and you want to make sure that their feet are actually in the water. Sometimes I have to kind of hold them in place. Um, just so that the poop actually soaks and so that it comes off is I continue to change the water out just so that um, well one because it's such a shallow bit of water the the water cools off faster so I'll continue to put you know warm water in as well as when the poop comes out I don't want it to get all over his belly because this is just a foot bath so You can help it along if you're not too grossed out by the poo. It doesn't bother me any, so I just help it along. Foot baths are a good opportunity for um, nail trimmings as well because you can just kind of reach in there and grab the foot. He won't stick his, wa his face in the water, but my other one will, so you kind of just have to figure out what works best for your person your hedgehog personally just gonna rinse his belly off just in case because he's my chunky guy he doesn't lift up all the way when uh when he's running so sometimes he gets pee and poo on him and that's it for a foot bath his quills are completely dry um 
except for maybe a couple on the side, obviously. But he's completely dry um, on the top. Just his fur is what mainly gets wet in a foot bath, which is important so that that stays clean. And I didn't use soap or anything like that. Now, the same way you would um, after a bath, you're going to wrap them up. I do the, the hedgy burrito. Yeah, pop them in there and wrap them up. Try and get a no loop towel. There he is. You say hi to camera. Say hi. Say hi. And that's it. That's both a full-on bath and a foot bath. If you guys have any requests, go ahead and leave them down below. And I will see you next time.